Yo, guys, I hope you're well. Guys, it gets worse. Sir Keir Starmer has got plans to target our hard-earned savings. So there's a little piece here, and it's from a guy called Peter Hitchens. He's an author, a broadcaster, journalist, and commentator. And here he's speaking to John Anderson Media, and he's talking about Labour's plans to target our hard-earned savings. One of the few interesting moments, journalistically interesting moments, of the election campaign was when Keir Starmer was asked uh, by Nick Ferrari on a, on a radio interview, because he keeps he kept saying during the campaign uh, that he wasn't going to tax working people. So <laughs> Nick asked him, "Well, who do you mean by working people?" And to summarise what he said, he said, "People without savings." So did you hear that? He said he wasn't going to tax working people. So if you're working, you're not going to be taxed. So he said, who are working people? Can you define working people? And apparently Sir Keir Starmer says, working people are people who have no savings, N-O, no savings. So if you have savings, people, you are now eligible to be taxed. And at what rate? I have no idea, people. So that's kind of scary. I just want to wheel that back a bit so it sinks in. So this is our man, Peter Hitchens, and he's talking about Sir Keir Starman's plans. <laughs> Nick asked him, well, who do you mean by working people? And to summarise what he said, he said, people without savings. And as, as you, you and I will agree, an awful lot of working people do have savings. And therefore, that means anybody with savings seems to me to be under some sort of threat of coming under quite heavy extra taxation. If you have savings, you're under threat for heavier taxation. From this government at some point. There are ways of raising money, and of course they can borrow if, they, if they're subtle about it. Although I agree with you, the, the levels of borrowing, the levels of spending, the, the enormous numbers of people being, being paid to do nothing are astonishing, and the, the, the general economic statistics of this country are deeply dispiriting, but that won't necessarily stop them. Also, so he said there's increasing amount of people in this country who are being paid to do nothing. So this is all around the general plan for universal basic income people, because I think they've changed job seekers allowance and all these other credits and all these other areas that people benefits that people are entitled to or are eligible to, to be under the one umbrella under universal credit. But I think at some point it's going to become universal basic income. And basically that is the approach that I believe that a lot of countries or so-called forward thinking people are talking about for not just this country, not just other European countries, but most countries in the world, for the majority of the population to be under universal basic income, basically pay to do nothing, and they'll be given a stipend, which will be decided by these forward-thinking people that they believe that the average human being can live on. But they will be doing nothing, they won't be working, and they'll be happy doing nothing. That is what I believe is the agenda, but I'm just going to wheel it back and let Peter Hutchins continue. Being paid to do nothing are astonishing, and the, the, the general economic statistics of this country are deeply dispiriting, but that won't necessarily stop them. Also, there are areas where they can, in the medium term, I think, uh, raise quite a lot of money, and the through some sort of wealth tax. Um, my own guess is that they will probably weaponize um, local property taxes, what we call council tax here, uh, which has been left untouched by governments for a very long time. The, the so he said that they may weaponize your council tax and your council tax bills. So for instance, you could be in a band A through D, E, whatever, paying a certain amount but if 
So Keir Starmer and his cronies get hold of your council tax. It could be a whole new ball game, people. A whole new ball game. Uh, my own guess is that they will probably weaponize uh, local property taxes, what we call council tax here, uh, which has been left untouched by governments for a very long time. The, the, it's based on ancient valuations of houses and could be greatly, greatly increased as a as a as a, as a reservoir of money from which the government could draw. A reservoir of money from which the government can draw. Ruled it out by any means in the election campaign. And they haven't ruled it out by any means in the election campaign. So when Peter Hutchins was talking about, is that his name, Peter Hutchins? I hope I've got that correct. Oh, sorry, Peter Hitchens, excuse me. When he was talking about the government, because they're the government now, at the time, I think, of this interview, it was during or before the general elections. I think this was a couple of months back, people. But Peter Hitchens was suggesting that Sakhir Hardy would be looking at our savings, going through our council tax, etc. And I looked, I've got a council tax bill here, people. And I assumed, because I thought, I'm certain I used to see the breakdown of what our council tax was paying. But apparently no longer. It's just the revenue service, isn't it, really? They don't break down. Normally, on an invoice on a bill, you'll get a breakdown of what they're charging you for and what your money is going towards. So there's, there is a tiny breakdown here, but not the more complete breakdown, which I've used to see. So here, I'm paying a council tax, a Greater London Authority tax, and an adult social care tax. But... I seem to remember from seeing a bill before that part of our council tax people is used to pay for the police and the fire service as well as other amenities like your public services, your schools, your libraries, your roads, etc, etc. So I was just laughing about this people because part of your council tax and if it's increased under Sir Keir Starmer this will be the ironic thing because part of your council tax will be used to pay for the police service and we will be taxed at a higher rate to fund more police to snoop and spy online against ourselves <laughs> and that's crazy isn't it so we will be paying for more police not to police the vicinity but to police the internet to make sure that we're not doing or saying anything that we shouldn't be, which is deemed under their subjective terms to be potentially illegal, potentially to be harassment or hate speech, etc., etc. So our council tax will go to funding more police to sit on the internet, to sit online, to make certain that we are being good people and doing what we're told to do. Oh, the joys, people, the sheer joy of paying to be spied on. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was just a quick piece, people, just to let you know what's going on here. And I think I wrote another note here. And no, I'm not going to mention what I wrote here at all. I'll leave that for another day. But again, computer problems, so apologies on that. But the sheer joy of paying to be spied on. That is ironic, people. That is ironic. Anyway, guys, make certain you look after yourselves, you look after each other, make certain that whatever you do is within the laws and the parameters of the laws. Make certain you watch what you talk about, what you say and what you tweet and what you write because I don't think they're playing around people. Basically, I think what this government's gonna do is it's gonna clear out the prisons of all the people who've been in there for a little while and be making space for all us new little people who tweet or speak online. So they're not playing, they mean business, and they're gonna break us by any means necessary. But guys, we will smile and we will enjoy it whilst we're being broken, because that's what they want, people. <laughs> we're, not, we're not to complain about it, people. We are to take our punishment like grown-up people should. Really? Anyway, guys, make sure you come back to the next Urban Bars reaction, guys. I'm out.